Hello guys, good evening to all. This is Mike Padua and we're back again to our latest weather analysis for this uh, Monday to Wednesday, November 20 to 22, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bodado of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. And we would also like to promote the uh, Climate Action Center of uh, Comunidad. If you're interested, just visit our website, typhoon2000.ph, and click on the banner for you to uh, go to the Google fill up form and uh, they will contact you once you submit the uh, form. Okay, so let's begin now with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today, Monday until Tuesday. Well, until now, the shoreline and the Northeast monsoon remains uh, over the country and they are continuing to affect uh, Luzon and Visayas becoming more rainy over uh, Bicol region, uh, portions of eastern and central uh, or northern Visayas. And while our, uh, the rest of Luzon, Visayas will have windy conditions with some passing uh, low-level clouds to mid-level clouds with some uh, results to light rains expected, particularly here over uh, Cagayan Valley. But there are also some moderate rainfall that is expected within this uh, Monsonal flow. And uh, speaking of the remnants of Tropical Depression 17W, which uh, has uh, downgraded into a low pressure system last week, uh, during our last uh, update, it's currently here, but it's still there. However, it's becoming elongated because of the shear line and it's likely to be uh, totally absorbed or dissipate over the Philippine Sea within the next 24 hours. However, the trough will continue to bring uh, cloudy conditions with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms across Mindanao and the southern portions of Sulu Archipelago, including the offshore Bangsamoro. So please take all necessary precautions of possible flooding and landslides and also here across areas affected by the shear line. And it looks like here over the Bicol region, uh, we will still feel the effects of the shear line and the northeast monsoon for the next two days until Wednesday until uh, it will start to weaken and our wind direction will start to shift a little bit from the east although another uh, uh, surge of northeast monsoon will be, effect uh, will be affecting extreme northern zone this coming Friday so we are now in the, on the time of this uh, northeast monsoon cool winds and some light rains but because of the shear line we are still experiencing some heavy rainfall over uh, the affected areas in the philippine islands and uh, the good news this rainfall will help the aquifer or the groundwater of every towns municipalities and provinces that will get uh, an ample amount of rainfall including uh, agricultural farmlands of Bicol region and Visayas which is being affected which will continue to be the dominant uh, place where the uh, shoreline is uh, going to uh, pass by every now and then okay and uh, the risk of flooding here is low to high while over Mindanao will be low to medium. So that's the latest from our graph set. Here's the fast animation. So these are the uh, remaining of the shear line that uh, is uh, bringing rainfall across Bicolandia and Visayas, portions of Visayas. Okay. And if you take a look at the zoom in satellite animation, you can clearly see here some heavy uh, rain bands of the shear line and also the uh, trough from the weakening LPA over the Philippine Sea and the northeast monsoon will still bring some wind conditions across the zone 
to the next 24 hours. Now let's take a look at the wind and pressure forecast from the European model, go to subwindy.com for the next 24 hours. The uh, shear line will start to break down, although there is some uh, circulation forming here, but it's just short-lived part of the mid-level circulation. And the northeast monsoon will be downgraded into northeasterly surface wind flow across the Bicol region and eastern Luzon, particularly portions of Visayas and Mimaropa. And on Wednesday afternoon, uh, the winds will con to continue to retreat and weaken, uh, although it's still blowing from the northeast or north, that's the uh, surface wind flow. And on Thursday, November 23, it will still remain over uh, extreme northern Luzon in, and uh, the eastern sections of uh, Luzon. While over Bicol region, uh, decreasing winds come to variable winds will now be expected. We have the return of the easterlies here over the Philippine Sea, uh, Micronesia. So expect changing wind directions through the next uh, couple of days. And on Friday afternoon, we expect another surge of the northeast monsoon because of a intensifying high pressure north of Shanghai, China. So it will again bring winds of up to 65 kph across Batanes and Mabuang Kubo Islands and the uh, coastal uh, areas of uh, Cagayan Valley. While here over Bicol region, we expect again uh, the northeasterly wind flow or the weak Amihan to prevail over our region. Okay, and uh, if we take a look at the rain forecast for the next three days until Thursday, uh, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning, let's uh, move towards tomorrow morning, the shear line or the uh, diffused, this will become a diffused shear line, so we still expect rain showers and thunderstorms across Bicol and Samar. And uh, tomorrow afternoon, it will still affect uh, Bicol region, while uh, some traffic will uh, bring thunderstorms across Mindanao and the Sulu Archipelago. Wednesday uh, morning, still, uh, the uh, remaining of the diffused shear line will bring thunderstorms and rain showers across Bicol region. And on uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, there will be some, uh, the wind shear will become more uh, scattered and it will still bring rain showers and thunderstorms in various sections of Bicol region. Localized thunderstorms can also be, be uh, can also be seen here over Mimaropa, Visayas and Mindanao. And on Thursday morning, it looks like improved weather will now be felt across, finally, huh, across the Bicol region. Visayas and Mindanao, while uh, the diffuse shear line is expected to move towards northern Quezon and parts of central Luzon, Metro Manila may get some rainfall uh, during Thursday morning and in the afternoon, uh, more uh, rain showers and thunderstorms will still be expected in various sections of the country, particularly over central uh, and western Visayas, Mindanao. And uh, uh, so far, that's the forecast until Thursday afternoon. So uh, within uh, this week, there are still some showers expected. Okay, in various sections of Southern Luzon, Bicol, Visayas, and Mindanao. And if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast from the European model for the next three days, we expect... The uh, effects of the shear line will remain over Bicol region and some more provinces including northern Panay and likely northern Negros, northern Cebu. So these are the uh, places of the forecast rainfall that will be expected within the next three days until Wednesday. So uh, that's the rainfall uh, around 50 millimeters while uh, Mm, uh, in the span of three days, okay? So if you divide that, it's still lower. And also here over uh, Palawan, uh, this is mainly due to a surface trough and also across uh, Mindanao and parts of Visayas. Okay? 
Uh, the eastern sections of Cagayan Valley will also have some showers. This is mainly due to the northeast monsoon. So usually northeast monsoon are a very fine rain. Okay, please help to very light rainfall compared to the southwest monsoon. But the culprit of the heavy rainfall is not the northeast monsoon, but the shear line or the tail end of our frontal system or cold front that is uh, in tandem with the northeast monsoon. So usually the shear line is arriving first before the uh, northeast monsoon and it's also the last one that will leave uh, if the northeast monsoon weakens. That's why uh, beginning uh, tomorrow until Wednesday when the northeast monsoon starts to weaken, the shear line will again move back towards our area. So please take all nice precautions against flooding and landslides in low-lying areas. But, but again, <coughs> this is good for the farmers because we are now in the start of the peak of the El Nino. So the uh, rainfall, let's hope it reaches uh, average levels. Okay. And it will uh, fill up the aquifer or the groundwater of our respective areas. Okay. So that's the latest from Typhoon 2000. Again, we will return in the next uh, couple of days, probably by Wednesday or Thursday. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good night to all. Have a great week ahead. Hashtag WeatherWiser. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.